StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload! This is a game between Kawaiian and Lolbiv on Proxima Station, the latter edition. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the Red Terran player. It is Kawaiian from Esloth Esports. And in the top right side of the map, we have the Blue Zerg player. It is Lolbiv from VFAM. Which, uh, as far as I can tell from my internet research, is an organization of Vibe fans. Vibe is a professional Zerg player. And let's get right on into it. Proxima Station. This is pretty much one of my favorite maps in this ladder pool. But next season, Blizzard will be introducing five new ladder pool maps into the map pool. Which means maybe Proxima Station won't make the cut. Oh, I sincerely hope that it does. Alright, so hatch first here. Out of Lulbiv, no concern, no concern at all about three racks Reaper or proxy racks into Marines or anything like that. And hey, a command center first out of Kawaiian, also not concerned about early pools from his opponent, because man, an early pool into just slow lanes would probably wreck this pretty good from Kawaiian. I'm not sure if these guys have played each other. I'm, I assume they have. This is a GM level game. And think of the GM lava, or GM ladder, you just run into the same people a lot. It's not a big, big ladder, right? It's not like diamond, it's not like platinum or gold, which are big places for people to play. GM, it, like comparatively, is just not as huge. So, pool coming in for a little bit after that hatch first. I assume we get an extractor. I mean, he might just go, is he going for, he is, he's going three hatch before gas here. So, wow. Moving his drone back here to the very safe location. Boop! There goes that third hatch. And you have to worry about this debris on the back door, which we have seen taken advantage of a couple times on this map. Not all the time, but it's something that you do have to worry about just a little bit. If you're a Terran player, put a supply depot back here so you can see if Lings are knocking it down. If you're a Zerg, an Overlord on this back door is not going to cause you any concerns later on. Any, still no gas from Lulvib. This guy, gasless opening for sure. He needs to defend with Queens, whatever the heck is coming from Kawaiian. Need to be defended with Queens. I, these guys must have played against each other. And Quine must have gone Command Center first. Because this is an extremely brave opening from Lulbib. If this had been a standard Reaper expand, the Reaper would be here by now. Or very close to here by now. And would have a nice, wonderful chance to pick off a few drones in the early game. Which again, can mess up the macro for the mid game. For the Zerg quite easily. Overlord trying to scout this thing out. A single Marine is out for Kawaiian. That is the only attacking unit that he has, and he might take down this Slover Lord before he gets to the safety of this high ground. You know what? No, he's going to make it. He'll make it, and you can't see me. Ha 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 ha. Can't see you anymore. I'm on the high ground. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, and I guess the angle of attack would be kind of messed up. If you're right at the base of this big fan thing and you're trying to shoot up, you're going to hit the wall. But as far as vision goes, he should be able to see it. It's still way above this thing. I don't know. Don't ask me how this is supposed to work. He still doesn't have any gas, does he? No, this is an incredibly, incredibly gasless opening. Like, I've seen gasless openings before, but we're almost three minutes. We are three minutes now into this game. Creeping up on four minutes very quickly and no sign of gas. This is just going to be a straight queens. Every hatchery needs to be making queens here for about the next at least a minute or so. And there's the wall off. Evolution Chamber, Evolution Chamber, Roach Warren at the front door of this natural base. That is a straight wall. Any Hellions come in here, they're going to have a hard time getting through this. Hard time for sure, but again, oh, Kawhi's going for another command center here at three and a half minutes. He has no intentions of being aggressive this early on. This is absolutely the most macro-heavy opener I've ever seen from two players at the same time in a game of StarCraft II. This is nuts. Absolutely crazy. I mean, Kawhi, for him to leave the Zerg player alone this long just seems... I mean, he better have a nice follow-up, is all I'm trying to say here. He is making a Viking, which is fun. He's got a factory with the tech lab on it doing nothing. Going to swap that on over. Nope, just build another tech lab. A lot of tech labs here. Starport flying. Nope, I was gonna, thought he was going to take the tech lab, but no. Starport is going to land over oh, this area of the main base and hang out and chill right now. Again, production shows no attacking units. Wait, two Marines just got made. For Kawaiian, so not zero attacking units, but again, a Baneling bust would destroy this. <laughs> the confidence on display here, I just don't quite understand, but it's working out. I mean, that's the thing. It's not crazy if it works, is what they always say, factory. Now making a reactor. This factory's just been an add-on factory. <laughs> oh, that didn't make as much, I mean, it made too much sense, if that makes any sense. Starport is making its own reactor, and what are we doing here? Barracks onto Tech Lab. Barracks onto Tech Lab. 
Starport with reactor and barracks with reactor. So, all right. Very good. This was an interesting, interesting opening build here from Kawhi. And I hope you Terran players paid attention to this because, I mean, it looks really strong as long as the Zerg player doesn't have any intentions of trying to kill you, which, you know, it, it probably does at some point. Marine here. Factory. Of, there we go. Factory finished its reactor and is coming back over to the tech lab now. So this factory is made... I think three of the add-ons of the four that are present for Quine right now. This is just an interesting little ballet we've got going on right now. Nice choreographed, choreographed behavior. Uh, medevacs on the way. Liberators coming in. And finally a tank made by that factory. Finally allowed to build something. And that third command center is landed very nicely. What am I at the front? Liberators here. Four marines. I mean, pretty good. Pretty good defense against some early zerglings. But man, five and a half minutes... The Zerg player could have like 80 Zerglings and 20 Banelings by that point, and I just don't think it's enough for Kawine to survive it. However, Lil Biv isn't interested in maxing out at about 10 minutes, I think, if not sooner than that. He has 66 drones. He's making some roaches now. He's like, where is the Terran player? Why? Oh, it's a Liberator. That's where it is. Liberator sets up top of the natural base going after these drones. Queen can't really find a good place. To save them, all the drones are forced to retreat. Ravager's immediately morphing in for Lil Biv. I think the Queen can sneak around to this little corner and get some damage done, but I'm not... I mean, Lil Biv either, either doesn't know that or doesn't want to try that. He's waiting on the Ravagers here. Three Ravagers ready. Oh, coming over to that side, and... Oh, just chasing it away. Liberator sees the Ravagers coming and just bails. I'm out, says the Liberator. Don't really want to get destroyed by the uh, the Corrosibile. It's a bad feeling. A natural base has no defense except for a queen either. I'd like to see some static defense or something, but Lobib is not interested in sacrificing any of his drones for that. He lost two to the Liberator, so I mean, uh, the sacrifice is not non-existent, that's for sure, but regardless, not interested in any level of spore crawler right now. Here comes the drop. It's late, right? It's not the five-minute double medevac full of marine drop. It is instead a seven-minute full of marine medevac drop. But I feel like, yeah, there are a million roaches and ravagers coming out here. And they decide instead to kind of come back home, throw down some corrosive bile, force the medevacs to change location anyway, change trajectory here. Liberator setting up shop in the natural base has taken down eight, what, eight kills? Eight drones have died. Oh, no. Static defense, man. It's all about the static defense. Spire on the way. Infestation pit on the way. Ravagers might get no liberator. Nicely done, Kawaiian. Getting the heck out of there. Getting right the heck out of there. Drop. Not really doing much here for Kawaiian. I mean, I'm not sure where you want to go here. Is this enough Marines to deal with this many roaches? No, it's definitely not. That is 24 roaches versus 15 Marines. If you're outnumbered almost 2 to 1, especially at this stage of the game, just don't, don't do it. You're not going to be able to do it. Plus 1, plus 1 is done for the roaches. Plus 1, plus 1 done for the Marines. They do scale better with upgrades, but they are severely outnumbered here. Yeah, and Kawaiian picking up after losing 3 or 4 Marines and just retreating. With the remainder of them, Liberator up to nine kills now, just continuing to kind of bounce back and forth. The Spire's almost done, so Lolbev has a way to deal with this eventually. I just don't understand Zerg players who refuse to make a Spire at all. And whoa! Queen plus two Ravagers do finally take down the Liberator there. But again, we're looking at 10 dead drones at 64 to 67 harvesters. Lolbev had a nice lead, and now it is down to minus three. The lead is minus three, you guys. Marines marching up to this back door of Lolbiv. Gonna try to knock down this debris here. Again, plus one, plus one with stem. Pretty good. Are they gonna stem is the question. I don't think they actually need to. They're not in much of a hurry here. So Roach Ravager play for Lolbiv. Roach Ravager and Fester possibly. No, that's a quick hive. It's a quick hive coming up from our Zerg player. Three bases up for Kawain. He's got Marines. He's got tanks. He's got medevacs. And the Spire hasn't been used for anything for Lolbiv to this point. Plus two, plus two on the way for the Roaches and Ravagers. And, oh, the Roaches found the Marines. The Marines decide to retreat inside the natural base. They just take down the rocks in time. Going after Snake, take down the Queen, who's already very injured. And the remaining Marines do manage to escape here, but there are only seven of them from the original, I want to say it's probably original 13 or so. Yeah, Marines are getting murdered on this mission, but they're doing fairly well for themselves. Killing a Queen is always nice. And resources lost here, about 600 for the Terran, and, wow, about 1,800 for Lulbiv. So, so far, I'm taking quite a bit of damage. The Zerg player on the right side. Lulbiv is taking a fourth base right now. Morphing it on. Morphing it on in. In on in. Vehicle weapons level two being researched by Kawaiian. Pathogen glands on the way for Lulbiv. A very heavy roach ravager infester style. And Marines, Marauders, and Tanks coming right up onto the creep here by Kawaiian. And I was going to say, no. Roaches are not the answer to this. 
to Marines Marauders with tank support. There are six tanks here. Uh, all right, little bit of lookout, man. You're in a lot of trouble right now, dude. Cross of Bile's good, but with good dodge by Kawaiian, I don't know how this is going to work. Extra uh, Evolution Chamber at the front gets taken down. Canceling that plus two upgrade that Lolbiv wanted so bad. Marines Marauder splitting off to take down the fourth base of Lolbiv as well. A fourth command center on the way for Kawaiian expanding while attacking Marines at the back of the natural base. Trying to do some stuff, distracting the Queens anyway. Natural base under direct assault. Roaches and Ravagers trying to do this, but again, the tank support is just too much. That's a lot of dead roaches, you guys. That is 17 dead roaches. Their blood soaking into the creep. Marines and Marauders sneaking up this right side. Going to try to get into the natural base, but Lolbiv is ready for that one. Whoa! Ton of Roaches and Ravagers just waiting for that attack. I, you could win that. Okay, wants to come up. Possibly try to save the natural. Nope! Not going to save the natural. Some Corruptors did spawn. Eight Corruptors did spawn out of that natural base. Or that third base, rather. But uh, it's looking really, really bad for the Zerg player right now. I, okay, he's got a ton of Infestors, though. Six Infestors. With enough energy to do some fungals, not enough for Neuroparasite at this point. And six Broodlords on the way. Lolbiv going for them. Wow. Uh, all right. So Broodlord, Queen, Infester, Roach, Ravager, and Lolbiv's at 173 supply. Kawaiian is maxed out. I think Kawaiian needs to go for the kill now. The longer he waits, the worse this is going to be for him. But Lolbiv is stuck on two bases. I mean, we're not going to go ahead and pretend that's anything other than what it is. M Roaches and Ravagers defending the top of the ramp this natural base. Cross of Biles. Toss down and killing a single tank. There are still five, though, which is bad. Marines on this left side. What did they pick off? Did they pick off the spire? No. I don't know what that was, but it's dead now. What buildings have we lost? Rook for an evolution chamber, something like that. Something like that. Drones trying to long distance mine from this third base. Marines absolutely eviscerating them. No. No drones. Not allowed. These guys have plus two, plus two. But the Broodlords are here. Get out of there, Marines. Run. Run for your lives. Broodlords are so good in this situation. All right, so the answer, double pumping Vikings right now for Kawaiian. And Lolbiv is stuck. He is stuck on two bases, which is not where you want to be as a Zerg. I understand he's got Queens, he's got Broodlords, he's got Roaches and Ravagers. A pretty good composition against what the Terran player has. But the bigger this Viking count gets for Kawaiian, the worse it's going to be for Lolbiv. There are only three right now, but four being made at a time. At a time for the Terran. Who says Terran can't tech switch, huh? Honestly, who says? Only Zerg are capable of quickly tech switching. No, no. You know what? Terran and Protoss both have the ability to do that. No problem as well. Maybe not as quickly as the Zerg, but still not too shabby. All right. More Infestors on the way from Lulbiv. I'm not sure the initial ones have really made any kind of a difference here. They are basically almost maxed out on energy. 185. Well, I guess that one is a little bit lower, but close to that 200. And here we go. Burrow Infestor Hit Squad. Moving out. Broodlord's killing Marines and SCBs on the ground here at the gold base by Lolbiv's main, saying, get off my side of the map. Say the Broodlord's, we don't like your style at all. Where are the Infestors? Infestors pulling back to the third base, which is being replanted. I'd love to see a fourth base as well. There, uh, that is actually interesting. This Broodlord surround on this debris. I've never seen this. It's kind of a, kind of soothing in some way. And like a gross... Growth Zerg setup here. Debris does get taken down just as the final Broodlords expire and the Brood or Blue, the Broodlings rather, Broodlords pulling back to defend this third base. And there are Infestors here. I would, if I was Kawaiian, I would probably scan. Ah, production tab. Didn't have that up. <laughs> High sec auto tracking on the way for Kawaiian getting plus three armor for his dudes. Plus two or plus three attack is already done. Oh, whiff on the fungal. Trying to fungal this group of Kawaiians. It's just a small, what is it, six unit, five unit group of Marines and Marauders. Checking for bases on this right side. The fourth base is being remorphed in by Lolbiv. Another attempt to drop by Quine inside the main base. Gets shut down pretty darn handily. And it's 73 to 43 harvesters. Lolbiv is down to 43 drones. That is not good. 32 drones have been killed so far in this GM level game. We got ourselves some Vikings. We got ourselves some Marines. A lot of Marines. We still have five tanks left. Has he replaced the tank that got killed? Nope. Let it die. Did not replace it. Probably to honor its memory. Fourth base up along this... No, fifth base by Kawaiian. Oh, he already has this gold. I forgot. Has the gold. Has a fifth base up along this left side. Marines coming right into this fourth base of Lolbivs. What up, fourth base? You can't save it. You can't save it. The Broodlords are trying to save it, but it's just... I don't think there are... Unless the Marines get distracted. Oh, they focused down the hatch. I think it'd be gone now. But instead, everybody's gone. Setting up here at the gold base location of Lolbiv is Kawaiian. 
Got his tanks in nice locations, taking down spore crawlers, hitting the high ground, split very well. Actually, and the Viking Cloud just waiting for the Brewlords to come in here. A Chain Fungal on the Vikings, and then the Brewlords coming in would be... I mean, would just be disastrous for Kawaiian. So let's see. Oh, the Vikings are here. Oh, almost caught all of them. There's two. Oh, shoot. There's the Chain Fungal. Yeah, one is still alive. One is still alive. And the Vikings managed to get out of there before the next Chain Fungal comes in. The Tank Splash from the low ground was enough to shoo them away. Just long enough for the Vikings to not die there. That was a big moment. Big moment in this game. The fourth base is finally going to fall to Marines and a Marauder. Brulings trying to take down a Marauder. They have plus two armor, but there we go. DPS not that much. Marines trying to come up this right side and do some damage to the natural, but uh, no, not going to not gonna allow that. These Ravagers are definitely not moving up into this third base. We got Marines. We got tanks. The Fungal doing pretty well on the Marines. The Broodlord's finishing them off. But the Vikings swinging around from the bottom side, trying to pick off those Broodlords. Queen count pretty high. There's the Fungal and the Queens taking down this Viking count. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Vikings are gone. The Vikings are gone. It's time for the Broodlords to move in. Come on, Broodlords. Do this thing. Do this thing. Get these tanks. Get these Marines. Your window is small, but it is extremely wide open right now. By small, I mean maybe short, maybe a short window. Anyway, transfusing the Brewlords, keeping them alive, and suddenly Kawaiian's army is gone. That's it. Few retreating medevacs, a tank left on the low ground here, far away from anything else. And it's still 75 to 42 harvesters, though. Kawaiian does have a sixth base coming up, just now completing on the bottom side of the map. He's got 75 harvesters of 41 of the Zerg players. He's still going. He's going Marines. He's going plus three air weapons. What's his Viking count at? It's six again. Not really worried about any more of those. Getting a fusion core, perhaps to extend the range of his liberators, but also possibly for battle cruisers. You never know. BC is pretty good against Broodlords just because they're not air, they're not ground units, and Broodlords can't hit them. So this reminds me very much, very much of Wings of Liberty. We've got Queens, we have Infestors, we've got Broodlords. It's Infestor Broodlord. Back in the time when a fungal growth lasted a lot longer and did, I think, a little bit more damage. I mean, that fungal growth was really good for a long time. Queen's taking out a tank, trying to harass Lulbiv's attempt at a new 4th base at his gold, and a 5th base coming up as well. Not at the original 4th base location, but to the left of that, perhaps hoping Kawain will miss it somehow. Marines running up into this natural base. They're going to find some idle drones here. Oh, there are idle drones for Lulbiv, but caught with a fungal, and a queen going to finish these guys off. What a play. What a play by Lulbiv, <laughs> using the infester that was just born to fungal those Marines. Marines coming up here to harass this gold base of Lol Bibs, but again, Broodlord count super high right now, you guys. It's 12. It is 12 Broodlords, which is a big, stupid number. Really big number. Ground Carapace level 3 on the way for Lol Biv. Working on Kitness Plating. Is he going to go Ultras? Ooh, I don't know if you want to go Ultras, man. There's a lot of Marauders on the field. He does? I mean, obviously, he has an Ultraless Cavern. He's going Kitness Plating, but... Big old bunch of Marines and Marauders. Again, Marauder count is 10 on this army with Viking support coming up the right side. Trying to harass us. Not only to attack directly into what Lolbiv is doing, hoping the Broodlords can't get here in time to stop this army from doing a ton. A ton of work. Trying to kill some of these overlords that are scouting. The Infestors are here. There's the Fungal. Oh, the Chain Fungal action here is really good. The scan, but they can't really get in range of these Infestors to kill them. The Broodlords have arrived. The Chain Fungal on the Vikings and the Corrosive Bile doing so well against those Vikings too. Entire Terran army destroyed, but the 4th base attacked at the same time. Thor's in the mix. Here for Kawaiian, couple of Broodlords trying to deal with this all by themselves, pulling back to the safety of their friends. And here it comes, Neural Parasite on the Thors. Fungals on top of everything. This Thor, oh, Neural Parasite until the Infestor got a, a destroyed. And more Thors dying here at the same time. Terran army gone. Removed once again. However, Kawain has a 7th base now to the right of his 5th. 75 workers. He, what's he doing with this fusion core? Does he have... Dun, 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 dun. Looks like he did get the upgrade for the extended uh, defender mode circle range. So that's good. Oh! Oh, but he is making a battle cruiser. Okay, he's getting a model cannon upgrade. He's getting plus 3 vehicle weapons. Battle cruisers to the answer. To these Broodlords, I don't know if he needs them. I mean, Kawain is basically continuing to kill bases. He killed this attempt at a fifth base Lolbiv had down here. I mean, that just... I don't know how much of a chance that had to really work. 
Another small group of Marines and Marauders here from Quine. He's going to try the same thing. Come up this right side, force the army back to defend, and then pick off this gold base once again. It is dead. It's being replanted. Lolbiv, that's his only... Okay, he has a single mineral field at his third base, which doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. Marines and Marauders pushing up the front, taking down a creep spreading queen, taking out creep tumors as well. The Brute Lords show up. Everybody picks up and retreats. Kawain's army on the right side, sitting on the creep a little conspicuously. Hey, we're... We're just sightseeing and killing your creep tumors. Hope you don't mind, but gave enough time for a bunch of raptors and some infestors to respond here. So there's the fungal very low on HP already just because they were stimmed and that's not going very well. Wow. For Kawhi in there. <laughs> dead medevacs as well. What are we looking at? 11 dead medevacs in this game. He has 13 remaining, but if you can kill a lot of medevacs and a ZVT, you're going to be in a good spot. Broodlords and Corruptors. Corruptors trying to kill these medevacs. Nope, pulling back. And to the safety of the Broodlords, circling a Marauder, killing him very quickly at the same time. Battlecruiser teleports. Oh, warps here. What is it? Tactical jumps here into the main base using a Motto Cannon on a Queen. Finishing her off, but there are a bunch of Queens on the ground, you guys. There are nine Queens here with plus three attack. Oh, Cross of Bile. Finishing off that BC and pieces of it fly off onto the planet below. Uh, maybe, maybe no more of those. No, Kawhi's still going Battlecruiser, you guys. He believes. He believes in the Battlecruiser. A little bit of trying to take a base up on this top side of the map, but gets scanned and killed almost immediately by Lolbev. Not working super well to this point. Resources lost. 25,000 for the Terran. And how, how, and 11, 11,000 for the Zerg. So it's just that Kawine is out macroing and out expanding his opponent. He's not being super cost efficient, which is weird for a TVZ, but I mean, I think he's winning anyway. He's a maxed out army at 158 supply of Lolbiv. It's 71 to 32 harvesters. Lolbiv can't take any additional bases. He has his gold back, but that's it. Again, coming up this right side is Kawain Liberator setting up on that ramp. Queen's getting murdered by these dudes. Ravagers as well walking through. No, 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 no. Be so careful. Where are the corruptors? Where are the infestors? Where are the broodlords? The natural base is toast. Pushing up the front. Marines and marauders. Getting rid of sport crawlers. Getting rid of creep tumors. The broodlords are here. They're throwing down everything they possibly can. What is anything hitting the broodlords? There are two Vikings, but I'm not sure that's uh, going to be enough. The broodlords have been so dang effective in this game. Plus three air weapons coming up as well. Forcing Kawhi to pick up and boost out because the broodlords are here chain fungling on this small group with broodlord support here right in the front of the gold base but coming around the left side of the gold base not looking good for lol biv the broodlords have been so good this game but it's not going to be enough five three eight kills six kills nine kills four kills seven kills everything in the main base is pretty much toast but the gold base is gone once again lol biv is here at 100 supply compared to 190 of his Terran opponent. Battle Cruiser versus Corruptor. Not something you generally want to see as a Terran player. But oh, actually using Neural Parasite on the Battle Cruiser to destroy his own units. So many fungals, so many Broodlords all over this composition. Marines and Marauders getting chewed alive by these Broodlings. Continuous fungals on top of everything. This burrow cast ability of the Zerg is really good, you guys. Super good, and somehow Lolbiv manages to replant his gold base and push back that army despite being at a 2 to 1 disadvantage. Another Liberator sets up shop. <laughs> queens trying to take her down, and they do thanks to copious transfuses with each other. One of those queens would have died otherwise. Another Liberator sets up shop here at the main base to take down eggs. I mean, look at that. Three shots, eggs. How do they do that? Don't eggs have like 10 armor or something when they're constructing? Maybe that's just the larva. Just the larva that has the 10 armor. Another push up the middle from Kawhi, and he's got the Vikings. I don't know. I mean, at this point, I kind of feel like I just go mass Viking with it and say, oh, there are so many infestors, though. I was going to say, there aren't enough infestors to fungal you forever. There might be. There are 12 infestors on the ground, chain fungling these medevacs. Oh, man. Not great. Not super great. And the Corruptor's going to finish them off. No need for fungals when Corruptors are available. And so these Marines and Marauders, they are completely medevacless is the problem here. A lot of fungals getting tossed down. Again, trying to take a base at the top side is Lolbev. Kawaiian wanted it, though. He has an SCV here. And the, the, uh, the cleaning crew came to get rid of that hatch. Ah, Marines coming in here. Getting rid of the, get the infestation pit kill would be good. And they get it. And the sacrifice is all of them, though. 
They're all completely dead. The gold base under fire. Once again, Kawain is not going to let this gold base stay up for very long. Transfuse is trying to keep it. No, not going to be enough. Kawain loses, I think, everything that he has here. He's trying to retreat, but these guys are so overstimmed. They're so low on HP. That doesn't really matter. Okay, and <laughs> Lolbiv. Oh, I get it. It's like Vibe Lol. It is! It's Vibe Lol backwards. Hey, it only took me 25 minutes to figure that out. I'm sure somebody in the comments is like, dude, Falcon, are you serious? You don't know... This is vibe lol backwards. Is this actually vibe? APM over 300 for each, so this definitely could be vibe. I didn't realize he played under a backwards version of his own name, though. That seems seems entirely possible, what we know from vibe. So, I mean, Quine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bases compared to, like, this one... Base of Lil Bibs, which isn't even done yet, as it turns out. <laughs> He's trying to build a Supply Depot diamond here at this top section expansion that Lil Bib has tried to expand to about a hundred times and just can't do it. Battle Cruiser tactical jumping into the main base, taking out the Greater Spire. That was their target. I mean, one of them gets. They both get neuroparasited to what effect? I don't know. Now they're attacking each other. Yes, attack each other, b b battle cruisers. Third base, whatever. Hatchery gonna die once again. Two marines and marauders. Lings trying to get rid of this marine marauder group that is fully upgraded, mind you. Trying to defend this base up top. It's not gonna happen. It's just 100%, 100 million billion percent not going to happen. The hatch is toast. I don't know what Vibe does here. Again, assuming it's Vibe. Lol, lol. Who? I mean, would another GM player go by Lol Vib? Lol Biv? We're going to assume it's Vibe. I need to actually do some research here. Uh, there's a planetary fortress in the bottom right that Lings are trying to take down by themselves. Again, I understand you're pretty well upgraded, Lings, but you're not that well upgraded. Infested Terrans top down to get rid of this attack inside the main base. Marauders going after the Rotor in here as well. This is just, this feels like a prolonged death. This feels like your grandma has been in the hospital and she has cancer and she's like 98 years old and you expect her to die. You know... Soon, fairly soonish, but then she hangs on for another 10 years. That's kind of what this game, kind of what this game is like. Vikings chasing down these Broodlords. There are just 12 Broodlords and 6 Vikings, though. Yes, they'll win, but it's just going to take a while for the Vikings coming. More Fungals thrown down on everything. Broodlings chasing the stuff on the ground. The Chain Fungals combined with the Corrosive Bile getting rid of those Vikings. Oh, no, they're all gone. They're all gone. How? And Broodlord Infester chasing the Terran army away from this gold base again. If 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 Vibe wins this thing, I just I don't. Oh my gosh, he's building. He just assimilated an SCV to build a command center. Holy crikey, you guys! Does he have enough? Do you have to c keep control of the SCV the whole time? You totally do. All right. So Vibe is actually neuroparasited in SCV. He's building a command center here. I don't think Kawhi wants this to happen. He sent two Marauders over to kill the SCV, and they, he got it. He got it. The Marauders committed suicide, but they did not want that to happen. And, I mean, I can't necessarily blame him. I'm not sure that Lol Biv would have been able to do anything with it necessarily. I mean, it was just kind of a, just kind of a funny thing to do. Where is your army, Kawhi? How are you doing this thing? He's got 14 marines, or marauders rather, 26 marines. He just feels like he can't go in there because there are so many brood lords. I, and I don't know that I can blame him either as Vikings keep dying at an alarming rate. He's lost how many Vikings? 29 Vikings, marines, marauders inside the main base fort. It feels like the 18th time. The hive's going to go down. These guys stutter stepping their way to victory, victoire, boom. Hive explodes. Always a fun death animation on that one. Roach Warren is gone as well. Marines Marauders coming up to Loba's attempt at a top base. The Fungals may stop them from moving, but they're in range of the hatch, and it's gone. And it's gone. Vibe just doesn't have the economy to make this thing happen right now. He just doesn't. His income pales in comparison to Kawaiian's according to the income tab. Everything in the main is gone for Vibe right now. Yeah, he might lose this whole army to Chain Fungals, but it's just in the long run, it just doesn't matter. The Broodlord's a huge problem for Vibe. Ling's trying to finish off these Marauders, and again, pretty good upgrades. Only plus two attack, though. Plus three would be nice. I assume he has adrenal adrenal glands on those dudes. But look, the main base is just it has creep. 
And that's it right now. There's nothing else here that makes you know it was the main base for the Zerg. Now, the problem with Vibe is he's been playing defensively this entire game. So he finally sets up shop on this planetary fortress that Aquine has. I think this is his 10th base. No, actually, it's not. It's like a... I, I can't keep track anymore. I can't keep track anymore. There are too many bases. Quine has, like, 11 of them right now, including the one in the top left. Planetary Fortress is alive, but a lot of dead SCVs. The Vikings trying to get rid of this Brutalord count. Can and then get the fungal? It's the chain fungal action. Ooh, actually, neural parasiting the Vikings. You know what's interesting is your own units don't attack stuff that's been neural parasited. Like, you think once you're being attacked by your own units, you kind of be like, hey, so knock it off automatically. But no, they don't. They just kind of sit there and let themselves get attacked. Uh, Marine here in the main base. Not sure how he got here, but he's dead as the Lings took care of him. That's for sure. Medivac pieces falling. Oh, look at that. Actually landed on the ground here above the planet. So didn't really pay attention to that area. The designers of this map. Vikings coming on in. Again, more fungals catching these ground units. The Infestors need to die. I think once the Infestors are dead... Oh, it doesn't matter. The Vikings <gasps> caught up with the Broodlords. Are there any more Broodlords remaining? Nope. Six Infestors, and that's it. A good game out of Vibe. Or Lil, Lil Biv, as we'll call him. But a good game <laughs> out of Vibe. And Kawaiian is your victor. <laughs> that was crazy talk. That was an absolutely insane insane Z V T on Proxima Station again Vibe's ability to stay alive as long as he did with pretty much Broodlord and Fester with a bunch of Queens was amazing it really was I mean I feel like Kawhi maybe should have won that game earlier than he did but he got it he got the win and I think that's what matters I mean look at this resources lost here for the Terran is 54,000 compared to 32 for the Zerg you just don't see a 30 minute game where the Terran has lost, I mean, twice as much, almost twice as many resources as the Zerg player and wins anyway. It makes no sense. 300 Marines died, four Battlecruisers died. It just, it was a lot of stuff for the Terran. And the Zerg player, 15 Broodlords, 29 Roaches, 8 Infestors, 12 Ravagers. How many hatcheries? 12 hatchery kills for Kawaiian. <laughs> that may be the world record. Could definitely be the world record there as far as hatch kills on my channels go. Oh, all right. Um, so that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.